How we doing guys? Welcome to another episode of Edible Eric Eats. In this episode, we're going to focus on game meat, specifically venison. <clears throat> My daughter's babysitter's dad <laughs> is a hunter and he went out and shot some deer and he gave me, after they fabricated, he gave me some. Um, so you can see this is a pretty lean cut. And venison doesn't have a lot of marbling at all, so there's no fat. So you don't want to cook it to death, otherwise it's going to be dry and just chewy and not very tasty. So we're going to, we're about to make venison cutlets uh, with a uh, sauce chasseur. You guys are all familiar with that sauce. It is a hunter sauce it makes sense because back in the day you know the hunter would go out shoot a deer or something and would on his way home forage some mushrooms and then make a quick little sauce out of it I'll show you that tonight so we started we did our prep already uh, we're all meased up we got our pan on, we're gonna add some oil, wait for that to get a little bit hot. Whenever you're, whenever you're saying something in the pan, you wanna make sure that it's nice and high heat uh, and you get little wisps of smoke coming off the pan. That's when you know it's ready to use. We're gonna, we're gonna season the venison, a little salt, a little pepper on both sides. And you see I got on paper towels because I wanna soak up any excess moisture so it'll uh, sear up better. Season of flour. Pan should be nice and hot. We're gonna take our thin sliced, dip in the flour, shake it off, get in the pan. You hear that sound? You want that when you're cooking. These are gonna get cooked maybe two minutes aside and they'll be done. <music> We're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of butter and some mushrooms. Traditionally, you would use wild mushrooms, you know, like anything you'd find out while you're hunting, if you're foraging. Uh, we don't have those right now. We have cremini mushrooms, although a really good cultivated choice would be maitakis. They would be really good in here. The flavors you find in this sauce marry very well with game meats. You have mushrooms, you got uh, a deep uh, richness from the brown stock that we're gonna add in here. You have that uh, distinct gamey flavor you get from uh, wild animals. There's a couple things you always want to remember when, you, when you're cooking game meats. Um, it wasn't bred for tenderness and it wasn't bred for tasting. It wasn't bred for marbleization. The well marbled steaks you see of cows were um, the products of thousands of years of selective breeding to get that delicious fattiness in beef. Think of Wagyu and how selective they are with their heritage and their breeding and their process and how deep that marbleization gets. You don't have that with any game meats like pigeons, rabbits, venison, bison. They're all super lean, so you gotta remember how to cook it. Game is wild. It means they have free range. They can go wherever they want to. They need to use their muscles because they gotta look for food. It's not just handed to them. So all this makes game meats, like venison, very um, easy to overcook. You wanna think about uh, recipes and, and techniques that focus on tenderness. You wanna think long marinades, moist heat, slow and low cooking methods, you know, stews and uh, uh, braises. You don't wanna get a, a venison steak and then cook it well done, or a venison burger and cook it well done. It'll just be really dry and chewy. Now cutlets, you know, they're quick and thin, so they're, they are gonna be cooked, but they're, because they're thin, they're gonna be tender as well. We're gonna cook these mushrooms down until all the water has cooked out and evaporated, and they start to brown a little bit. We got our mushrooms cooked down. Now we're gonna add a shallot, nicely minced. And then cook this for another minute or so. Our shallots are cooked. In goes our brandy. Our white wine. We're gonna use that liquid to remove the fog from the bottom of the pan. Don't wanna leave those tasty bits there. And we're gonna add some diced tomatoes. Some recipes say to use tomato sauce, but I like the tomato, um, I like the freshness, just cut tomatoes, brings into it. You gotta cook it a little bit longer, but I think for me, it tastes a little bit better in the end. So, next step, we're gonna let this cook down till those tomatoes release their juices and it gets almost dry, aw sec, if you will. We've reduced our sauce down to um, aw sec, which means almost dry. We're gonna add in our demi, it's a beef demi, now we're gonna let this reduce for a few more minutes itself. Sauce has been reducing. We're gonna add about a tablespoon or so of fresh chopped parsley. We're gonna finish it with a bit of butter. We're 
mounting the sauce, a little bit of butter. It's gonna give it some shine and a little more depth of richness. We're gonna season it with salt, a pepper, taste it, a pinch more salt. And that is our sauce. So we have our venison, we have our sauce. There you have some game meat, some venison, and a sauce chasseur. Went a little crazy with the sauce. I'm a little bit hungry. We're about to eat. So enjoy, guys, and uh, keep on eating.